it's time to replace this system. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here, we have some old Honeyball devices up. You can see we have these old conventional pull stations, old multi-tone horn strobes. So we're gonna go ahead and swap these out for speaker strobes. For this system, we're gonna be using EST Integrity speaker strobes. So these are speaker strobes, not horn strobes. You can see these have massive speakers in the back, um, but we're gonna be using these devices. So let's go ahead and swap these out. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the audible wires. So this is the uh, NAC circuit that powers the horns. Uh, the horns and strobes are on a separate circuit. Obviously the strobes are gonna stay the same because I want the strobes to be powered on speaker strobes. However, in this case, since I'm gonna be using speakers instead of these horns, I have to remove the wires from the NAC. Um, obviously at this point, it's probably fine to leave these in because I'll be swapping them out. But in the event that I was to accidentally set the uh, alarm system off, I definitely don't want to send 24 volts through my speakers because that would probably ruin them. So basically, I'm just going to leave it like this until the entire uh, system is replaced. Um, once I do that, then I'm going to tie these into my speaker circuit. So this is my speaker output for the alarm devices. Um, and I'm not going to connect this either because right now, uh, nothing's going to happen when I activate the system. Only the strobes will flash, which is how I want it. If I connect the speaker, then the horn strobes are going to get a speaker output, and I don't want to ruin those either. Up on the ladder now, so I'm going to start with the notification appliances. So these have these little tabs here that you pop open, and uh, under these tabs is where the screws are. So let's see, there's a screw, and then of course in the opposite corner, there's also going to be a screw. There you go. Pull these wires out, just unscrew these terminals. I'm also going to go ahead and remove this pull station. So this one has a tab at the top. You slide that in there. Um, you can see that this was fastened to the box like this. I used these washers originally because uh, I wanted to have this line up better with the back box. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. We'll just unscrew it. Pry out these wire connections. There we go. The speaker strobes are going to fit on this box, but this pull station um, or the new pull stations are not going to fit on this box. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and replace it. Do these screws. So I went ahead and um, Put the wires on. This was originally a addressable pull station, but since I'm just using it as a conventional station, this is how I'm using it. So I'm gonna cut these cables back into the box. I try not to fold the wires or crease them too much because then they might break since this is only 18 gauge wire, but that looks like it fits pretty well. So open up the pull station and then secure it to the box. So we'll go ahead and do that. So this unit is going to be quite annoying to install. You can see that this is one of those speaker strobes with the huge back. I think this one's a extra loud unit. Um, but also you can see that the strobe has these pigtail wires and the actual speaker is right here. So I am going to need some connectors. But for now, I'm going to fasten this mounting bracket to the box. So I ended up wiring the speaker here. And then you can see I used these four bus bar Wagos to get this attached. Um, so now I'm just going to hook this speaker strobe here and then screw it into the bracket. So here I am at the other notification appliance. You can see in this case, I am replacing the whole box because uh, since I'm installing a white speaker strobe, I want the box to be white as well. Pretty easy, just remove the box, um, screw the new box in. You can see here I am putting the new mounting bracket on and then wire up the device and then snap it into the bracket. Since this is a slightly shallower box, I am gonna need a extender since I'm using speaker strobes. Go ahead and put this onto the box and then screw that down. So here I am in the utility room replacing the pull station. You can see this box is actually recessed behind the piece of wood. Makes it look a lot more professional, but I just had to remove the pull station and install the new one. Same deal here over here. I'm replacing this pull station here with another addressable unit. In this case, I had to remove the module from the back of it because obviously it's not being used. And also this box is pretty shallow, so I didn't want it to stick out. But this unit actually does look really nice. It sat really flush. Go ahead and pull down this ceiling mount unit here. Go ahead and undo these terminals. 
wherever that is. I know this is a wall mount unit, but technically since the strobe is the same on the ceiling and wall mount versions, this unit is rated for ceiling mount installation. Also, it really doesn't matter because this is my home system. I'm also changing out this detector for a photoelectric unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo these screws. All good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down this bathroom strobe and replace it with an integrity strobe. I will have to replace this box because this is a four by four and this mounts on a single gang. So let's go do that. And there it is. Go ahead and pop this pull station. This one's gonna go into alarm as soon as I open it. So as soon as this unit opens up, I have to uh, quickly push the button in so it doesn't go off. So now at this point, I'm gonna use the drill and I'm gonna open it. Let's go ahead and slide this into the box. This is a very annoying uh, unit to install because this box is really, really small, but does fit. So here's the speaker strobe installation. You can see I'm removing the old horn strobe. Of course, I do need a back box extender because for these deeper 4x4 boxes or these less deep 4x4 boxes, you do need an extender. And of course, this is an older speaker strobe, so it has a massive back. This is um, a mounting bracket that I made in the metal shop, but you can see it works. There it is. I'd also like to point out that this mounting bracket that I used is the one that I fabricated. I made a video about it too if you want to watch it, but that's that. So we'll go ahead and finish up by connecting the fire panel. I'll reconnect it now. Let's go ahead and just pull the alarm. All right, thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.